Hey everybody, it's Griffin. Thanks for tuning in. A lot's gone on since I've really posted anything on YouTube and definitely since I've really gone out and posted anything for Instagram. Uh, I would say it's actually been a couple months. Um, if you've been keeping up pretty regularly, you would have maybe seen that I bought a, another Forerunner to solid axle swap. You also probably would have seen that I actually uh, had been driving a Camry for a little while. So definitely a lot going on. Before I get to that though, I definitely want to answer some of the Q&A questions that uh, were asked to me on Instagram uh, that I said that I would be posting on this video. The one that I actually got the most, uh, it was asked five times actually, was about the OSR kit I got from Opt Off Road via um, For Real Good Performance. I went with the 10 inch travel Fox shocks. I will say that it definitely has been a game changer, not only in terms of the amount of travel I have, as most stock mount um, shocks for the third gen are typically about eight inches and these are 10 inches so I'm essentially gaining about one inch up and down uh, in terms of travel which does really make a difference. On top of that the original Toy Tech shocks I had were pretty blown out so it was just time to get rid of them. All in all I would say it's made a huge difference. Um, I've been running Fox up front which is a linear uh, shocker. It's actually a coilover. Um, it's the Fox 2.5 extended travel up front so it made sense to match it with a linear shock and stick with Fox again. I did have to change quite a bit out. Um, I did do extended bump stops. I did extended rear brake line. I did wheel spacers as well to clear that tube for the uh, OSRs, but it's only changed quality for the better. Anyway, getting to the meat and potatoes of everything I'm trying to actually tell you guys, uh, I actually do have a big announcement. The solid axle swap forerunner actually isn't happening um, between school, life, just time constraints in general, what I have to get done before I move to Boston. It just isn't feasible to get an entire solid axle swap and body chop project done in the time period I have. All the money that I had saved and amassed for that project, I actually have dumped into the Forerunner you all know and love. We've done a whole motor transmission and transfer case swap, which is why I was in that rental Camry for a little bit. Um, that answers that question. We've done a lot of revamping for this um, in terms of the truck. And actually the whole reason we're doing this, because you're probably asking, why would you have swapped your motor um, if there were no problems? Because there really weren't. Um, I'm going on a three week trip next month uh, with a friend of mine who is a four door Rubicon on 37s. We're going back out West. So definitely excited to show you guys kind of what we've built, what I've built and what the plan is. Um, Cause there is a lot going on. Uh, we'll be doing Utah, California, um, some Colorado. Uh, those are the main kind of places that we're going. That's the whole purpose of why I'm filming this video is to let you guys know kind of what is to come. Uh, we are going out west in May, so I'm very excited to be announcing that. If that is something you think you might be able to make, uh, we would love to have another rig come out with us. So definitely shoot me a message if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, this is definitely going to be more of a difficult trip. This isn't going to be something friendly to easier and immediate kind of people. So if you think you can keep up, if you think that that's something you can swing, definitely let us know. I have dumped a ton into this truck getting ready for this trip and I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a full walk around at Spirit of 1876, which is going to be day one in May. So I'm very excited to show that uh, video to you guys as well. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'd love to hear any questions, comments, anything you really want to know. Um, I'm pretty responsive to Instagram messages. So yeah, that, that, that's really it. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I've been teasing it for a while. Um, in fact, one of the questions I got was about how much I've been teasing. Someone asked, uh, are you going to start an OnlyFans? Because you're just teasing that much. So um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's really it. Um, I am so excited to share this with you guys. And I really appreciate you, you all sticking around and hanging out on this whole journey that we've been on for the past couple of years.